Welcome back, Dark Souls fans, as we continue to enjoy Dark Souls 3 a bit. And I remembered I said I would introduce you all to Ludleth, if you hadn't seen him already. Oh, thou art unkindled, and a seeker of lords. I am Ludleth of Corland. Look not in bewilderment, as I say. I linked the fire long ago, becoming the Lord of Cinder. If substantiation be thy want, Set thine eyes upon my charred corpse. This sad cadaver. No need to be coy. Have a closer look. Anyway, what I want you for is boss soul stuff. Oh, belike it is a transposing kiln in thy possession. Seen better days, but methinks it shall suffice. Now, bring to me a twisted soul. Transposition is the art of extracting and coalescing the essence of a soul. In transposing a twisted soul, its true power transferreth to thee. Thy purpose is to seek lords and slay them. What's to fear in a little transposition now? Okay, there we go. I want the Soul of Boreal Valley Vort. And I don't really care for the other stuff. Oh, you know, our store spear has some things that could have been neat. Because it does give HP for killing things, but I'm not really feeling spears. Now, hold on to the soul, but... Treat the not. She is not. Yep, alright, so now it's going to be back to the Undead Settlement. Alright, so I mentioned that I went through in one way, and there was another way of going through this, and let's go through that area backwards now. Because why not? Oh, hey, you're a thing. You exist! You're... Uh, gone. I mean, I guess I could reload the game and bring it back. Ha! Ha! I control this world! Get over here. Get over... For crying out loud, just die. Oh, it was a sharp gem. I mean, that's not terrible, but... Actually, I'm gonna think that's pretty good. I probably will infuse something with sharp pretty quick. Not these, but the twin daggers I'll get later. That's what I'll reinforce with sharp. I'm trying to remember if there's something illusory here, but I, I'm beginning to doubt it. I think that's the later section I'm getting confused. Okay. Well, first step is to get rid of the evangelist up here. Screw this lady. There we go. Stupid walls. What? Oh! Oh, that's a weird parry response animation. I expected the big staff would go the way it came in, but okay. That works too. Ooh, evangelist gloves. What's the defense like on these things relative to what I have? Oh! This is actually better. Slightly heavier, but these are way better than what I currently have. In every way. Awesome. Wait, are those fur-lined? Yeah, it looks like they are. Wait, it said they were from the Boreal Valley, didn't it? Oops. Oh, from the Cathedral. Well, the Cathedral's kind of Boreal Valley-ish, I guess that's why. Yeah, ha, ha, yeah. Try to smash me with a hammer, will ya? I mean, you can try. Just won't do you any good. And then I'll be insulted. And then I'll kill you. Which is basically the entire thing of what just happened. Yay, more Titanite shards. Two more, and I can upgrade these weapons, the twin blades. It's also our twin blades. I can upgrade those again to plus three. And nope, not again. I fought enough of you during the Cursed Rotter Greatwood fight. I don't need to fight any more of you. And you... Really? I get knocked down? Alright, whatever. And a whip. If I wanted to play... If I wanted to cosplay Indiana Jones, I could. Except for the lack of a gun, actually. Now that I think about it. Or a fedora. I guess I can't really cosplay Indiana Jones. You sort of can. Bit of an easier thing in Bloodborne than it is in this game. 
I mean, there's always some in Belmont. It's just throwing knives in the inventory on top of the whip. Okay. You're dead. You're dead. There's going to be a couple thralls coming through that hole in the wall there, or on the roof there. And there should be something out of the window past this guy. Oops. Wait. No, there's something in the window, wasn't there? Was there not something in a window? I'm remembering wrong. Okay, there's no windows that are relevant. But yeah, if we go up here, the Warrior of Sunlight Covenant's inside that room, which I'm going to go get from the top. Oh, and there's this thing. I want you down. Thank you. Large soul. Nice. I think that's 800. And then you again. This is so different from when I went through here the first time where I was like, oh man, I don't know. Are these things here? And then bam, one of these cages comes out at me and starts attacking and I just go, okay, that's a thing that happened. I got super happy that I found the Warriors Unlike Covenant because that's what I was going for with that character. With this one, I don't know what I'm going to go with Covenant-wise. There's a quest I want to do later on that I think I can't be a mound maker if I want to do it. Or I can't have done mound maker stuff. Because it's a quest involving fighting the person who made the Mountain Maker Covenant with another person who was wronged by them. That's like, I don't exactly know when that comes up. It comes up later. Actually, no, I know exactly when it comes up. That comes up near the mid-game. So yeah, I don't really want to jeopardize that quest because you get some good armor when you go through that. And it's a neat quest. Also, I kind of want to do as many quests as I can. I missed a few my first time through. Got all the secrets, but missed some of the quests. All right, so that's the path I would have taken if I had gone through there the normal way. Actually, no, wait, I'm not, not, I'm not done yet. Shoot, 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 shoot. Now I can deal with the rest of this path. Really? Also, that was weird. The sound just sort of cut off. The sounds in this game are weird. Oh, darn it. Thanks for the late attack. Okay. Titan Shard. Hey, one more. Unless I want to save it for the next weapon I get, in which case I also want one more so I can get it a plus two quickly. I think that's everything in this area. At least everything in this part of this area. There's another part to it I was talking about earlier with a tower. Oh! There is one thing I missed. Oh, also, I want to get that ring... I got the Pontus left eye for a reason, which is that it's way easier to use with this build than with a longsword. Okay, so if I do that, if I get this guy, knock it down. Not in the best of positions, but it'll work. And then do that, and then run up here, and possibly kill some things, and then grab this. And get Kukri's. Oh, joy. I mean, I don't really... I don't really mind one way or the other, but it's just not a weapon I was... Or rather, a throwing utility that I wasn't really planning on using. So, it exists. It's perfectly fine existing. It has every right to exist. I just don't care. Let's move on. After double-checking this area here today. Is this just decoration? Yep, it's just decoration. Okay. Or would appear so. I might be missing more things, but I don't recall that being anything special. Mind you, I don't recall the Undead Settlement greatly. But I don't recall that area in particular having anything special to do with it. Alright, now for the much more important thing, which is the area I get to when I open up that gate. Down there. How many... Is this? I'm full Estus. Okay, cool. There's a gate down there if I open it up after the rats, which I will kill this time. Because why not? Yup! Ow, what the heck? I have to Estus up. You made me Estus- Ow! You're not letting me hit you. That's rude. Self-preservation is rude. You should know that. We've discussed this. I mean, the thing is, these weapons are going to come much more in handy when I get the twin daggers. The thing about the 
ring is that it's every six hits you regain some HP. But that counts even if you're hitting multiple enemies. Each enemy hit is a hit. Anyway, grave key. This is... what is this again? Oh, loincloth. Okay. Don't need anything from you. I haven't done anything. We're going hollow. There are, however, skeletons here. And they are a bit of a pain. I have weapons that are ideal for dealing with them, but they are a bit of a pain. I mean, skeletons in this game follow D&D &D rules. Piercing weapons are bad against them. Slashing weapons are fine against them. I don't know if blunt weapons are the best. And these ones don't resurrect. Okay, good. Okay. Combo, combo. Ah, no! I wanted a combo! Note that the sixes I was talking about was within a very short time frame. Ow. Okay, if you would be so kind as to let me actually target you, that would be great. So, curve swords, but yeah, slashing weapons usually work okay. I mean, my understanding, in, if I recall correctly with D&D &D stuff, is usually damage reduction piercing. Or against piercing. Like, piercing is the only thing that gets reduced. Though I suppose that's addition dependent. Aha! Now you're dead. We're going to be seeing a lot more of these skeletons, and or similar types of skeletons with similar movesets and such, later on. Not right now, though. Now it's, it's just those ones. They're not too big of a deal. Alright, so you're a dog. You're stuck in a wall. You're a dog who forgot how to obey the Pally Exclusion Principle. This is a bit of a shame for you. Doesn't really make a difference to me. Ow. Yep, it was a heavy gem. Again, no real need for that. Alright, what do you got for me? Ah! You have something parryable, you fool! I can parry things now, because I have a weapon that makes it way easier to parry than before! This Cestus is awesome! I love it! Eee. Like, I see things coming, I parry them, and it's just... It's my muscle memory I'm used to. Like I said before, it's a totally different logic to parrying than Bloodborne, but the timing feels very similar using the Cestus. So I am happy with that. Very happy with that. It's not a blade, but this runs about doing stuff a little unusual, a little different from what I normally do. I never use curved swords. I never use fist weapons. New things everywhere! Okay, this is going to be a bit of a problem. There's going to be a lot of rats. And I mean a lot of rats. And I'm not a big fan of rats to begin with. I mean, they're okay. They can be kind of cute. These ones there, however, they're a bit rotten. They've been out in the sun too long. It really should have been refrigerated properly, but nope. Too early. No real refrigeration exists. And hey, it's Irina. Don't need you for anything, but... Uh, who is there? Is someone there? Anyone? Oh, please. Whoever you are, touch me. The dark surrounds me, nibbles at my flesh. Little creatures. They never stop biting. So please, hold out your hand and touch me. Okay. Just say where, I guess. I don't know where you're comfortable with me touching you. Oh, yes, there you are. So close, indeed. And I am not entirely alone just yet. Praise the merciful gods above. Okay, great. Oh, forgive me. I am Irina of Karim. I came to this land so that I might be a firekeeper. Hell of a place to find yourself, then. Your touch has freed me from the darkness. You are a champion, then. Well, I killed a big dude with a halberd and firelings, so yes? I am weak and unfit to tend the flames. But if it would not trouble you, might I enter into your service instead? Sure, why not? Oh, thank you, sweet champion. I shall take my vows. 
I, Irina of Karim, solemnly swear to serve you. Okay, great. She didn't leave anything, right? Nope, we're good. So that's part one of the other things in the Undead Settlement I hadn't explored yet. Hey, Egon. Hmm. Another one of those unkindled, are you? All you faceless undead. Behaving as if you deserve I respect. I have a pretty face. How dare you now insult my you've face? gone and rescued the wench. How very quaint. Pitying creatures that are beyond help. <laughs> very well. I'm sick of looking after her at any rate. Well, you locked her in a cell, presumably, so I'm yeah. Egon, a knight of Karim. I am allied to you for as long as you assure the girl's safety. And only for that long. What's the matter? I am a light and... <laughs> Alright, see ya. Now to help out our friend Siegbert. Killing a demon. Well, I'm a little low on Estes, but... Meh. Should be okay. I don't know if I can actually do anything. Oh, right, I have to drop. Oops. Right, let's try the way down. Hopefully not killing myself in the process. Yeah. That works. Didn't get hurt. We're good. Hey, Siegbert. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Oh. Don't disappear like that. You had me downright worried. But thanks to you, an epiphany has struck me square in the head. I've unraveled the riddle of this inscrutable lift. Right. <laughs> On some days, I begin to doubt myself. Oh, oh shit! Sorry. On some days, <laughs> I begin to doubt myself. I was trying to aim. I went up the tower, so I thought then somehow ended up here. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Anyhow, do you see that? That humongous beast? I'm no coward and I have a steady hand, but that thing makes my skin crawl. How now? Think twice before you go down that road. I could try talking some sense into him. Seriously? That's a demon, you fool. No, I think not. He's far too overheated. Can you even hit it from here? I've got to use my head and think. Hmm. Hmm. Wow, that's... Okay, that's deceptively big. Hey, well... I know you're gonna join after me if I go after this thing. How much health do I have? I have a decent amount of health. Actually... No, you're not gonna go Leroy Jenkins on me just yet. Assuming that you stay put if I hit it with a bow. Oh! Right! Those things are people. That, that, that staff there. That's... that's holding a people. My bad. Come on, get over here. Wow, how big is this thing? No! Oh, you hitting it at all waited. triggers him? Okay! Well, it's too late now. Oh, there's an item up here. I, Zigward of the Knights of Katarina, no. fight by Not your really. side! Ah! Ow! Zebra just needs to not die. That's a really important thing right now. Hopefully I don't hit him. I actually don't know if I can. Oh, good. This thing gets stunned. No problem. Haha! -ha! We did it! And you didn't die. Well done, Ziegvert. I can actually continue your quest. <sighs> that was quite a performance. But you mustn't get in over your head. Okay. We unkindled must put our duties first. Bang-up job you've done so but far. for the moment, we've a toast to make. To your valor, my sword, and our victory together. Long may the sun shine. 
<laughs> Probably shouldn't tell him I'm planning on letting the fire die. Well, I'm going to have myself a little nap. Of course you are. The only thing to do, really, after a nice toast. <laughs> Katarina armor must be optimized for sleeping. Either that or Katarina knights are all narcoleptic. Because that's just a pattern. Maybe it's a hiring thing. No, they, it's part of the psychological examination before you get hired on as a Katarina knight. Like, how good are you at falling asleep anywhere? It's like they put you in a big pit of snakes, and if you fall asleep, you're hired. That's just the, that's the exam. It's really simple. If you're lucky, the person will also be, you know, fairly skilled sword fighter and all. But what they really need to be able to do is sleep anywhere. Either that, or the armor just has pillows built in. Like, it's really well padded. Sheesh, there are a lot of bodies of the objects on them. Who put these here? Thank you. Ooh, northern stuff. I think I actually kind of like this. I'm trying to remember now. Hmm. Okay, never mind. Statistically, it's not that great. And its look is... Okay. I kind of prefer sellsword right now for the things I have. Hmm, northern gloves are possibly better against non-magical stuff. My magic non-magic resistance is okay. Aww. Ooh, this is really good. Doesn't look terrible either. And I'm not going for hats unless I get a hat that shows my hair. Okay, cool. We have a slightly better armor situation. Hooray! Hooray for good armor. Now, where is my next path? I can't remember if I had to go up there or if there's something I'm missing down here. Because this area here has loads of items in it, and I want to make sure I get all of them. Because getting back here is mildly annoying. Not terribly difficult, it's just mildly annoying. Actually, come to think of it, once I get past this area, it's not going to be so bad. Getting to it from the Undead Settlement is annoying. Getting to it from anywhere else is actually fairly easy. Alright, so there should be a cage guy here. Which one of these cage guys is the one that causes me problems? One of them does. Do any of them do? No, eventually one of them does. Ah, that's where it is. Okay. Bing. Bam. Dead. And you too. Bam. Oh, it's so nice actually having enough FP because the, your spells don't use half of it. So one thing about if you're playing Miracles, Miracles cost, or heal at least costs a lot of FP. It costs 45 as I recall, which is about half, half to a third of what you normally have to start with. And I've only upgraded Attunement a few times. So it's really easy to run out of FP in that situation compared to, like, this, where I'm having no problems. Oh, hey, there is one of those. Yeah, that's why I use ranged weapons. It's just easier. Oh, hey, it's a dog. Oh, hey, it was a dog. Bit of a shame it's no longer a dog. Ow. What the... Okay, fine. You managed to get through my spells. Congratulations, you get to die by a sword. There's your prize! You get a sword to the face! I admit, I don't come up with the best of prizes. Is that a mimic? Nope. That's a valid chest! Hooray! That's not, however, what I was hoping for. I don't recall that being a thing, honestly. Why don't they patch that in? Like, I actually, honestly don't remember this fight with a bunch of the cages dropping down on my head as soon as I got this chest. Did I get this chest in the first place? I think it might be the first time I've ever gotten that chest. Now that I think about it. Well, gonna be out of FP pretty soon, but it's something. I'll break a box. Make the boxes bleed! Oh, come on, come at me. Don't make me fight two of you at once. 
Come on. Stop making the floor bleed and come at me. It's like they added a lesion behavior to this enemy or something. Ugh, you're annoying. Why are you... Must you have a friend? Now at least I don't have to fight both of you at once. Oh, great. Why can we have just ranges of things? That stupid stick is going to be the death of me at this rate. I found that remarkably difficult for some reason to judge the actual range of a thing. Yes! Ah! Got the parry because my Cestus is awesome. And now you're dead. And now your friend's soon dead, and I kind of wish stuff would drop Estus like... You know what? I think Estus doesn't drop if you killed the boss of the area. I think it works like Humanity in Dark Souls 1. Like, in that game, as you killed enemies, before you kill the boss, you get up to 10 humanity just from killing enemies. But once the boss is dead, move on. Ow. No. Shoot. Oh, crap. Maybe I can do this with one Estus? Uh, okay. Oh, that was scary. I mean, it still is scary. I'm not out of the woods yet. I'm mostly out of the woods. I think there's one or two more enemies I have to fight before I'm completely done with this area. And there's a ring I can get, which I don't know if it does me any good. The Flynn's ring, which improves attack power based on having low... low equip load or low vitality. Something to do with that. I can't remember the exact conditions. It's actually not really clear what the conditions are. You can find out by experimentation, though, because I can take off the blood bite ring and see if this changes anything in terms of my damage. And no, it does not. So it's lowering equip load. So if I drop equip load... Oh, it does! Okay. Very slightly, but it does indeed. Yeah. Wow. All oh, right. So that's really specialized, and... Yeah, I'm not going to worry about it too much then. I think it's equip load... I think it's the absolute equip load, though. I don't think it's equip load percentage. But that's a thing to bear in mind. I don't really care, but... Right hand weapon, two. There we go. But it's a thing. Anyway, I want that. I want... That, because I care about it more, and that. I'm below 70. Flynn's Ring's not going to do me much good, but... Cool, okay, so it seems to be if you have actually low equip load, not just low vitality, which I think in Dark Souls 2 it was low vitality. I think if your vitality was below 16, it would have a full effect, but it wasn't clear. Ah! Ah! I'm going to die. I'm going to drop to my death. This is this is going to suck. And I got a Homeward Bones, but I want to get the Farron stuff. Not the fair stuff, the... What's it called? Actually, come to think of it, I think there's a platform I can drop to that will save my life. Oh, yeah, there is. How about that? Ah, no! Darn it! Oh. Really? Really? Oh, that is disappointing. Oh, that is so disappointing. Darn, this lack of Estus is really killing me. Which, okay, that's kind of a moot point, but it is, like, let's be honest, it's not doing me any favors. Don't think there's any Estus shards anywhere soon, though. All right, that was embarrassing, but we're alive again, and now I can drop down, and actually, that was a fair amount of damage. I think if I drop to the boxes, I don't take damage. Nope, I still do. I thought boxes broke my fall. But this is what I wanted. Mira stuff, not Farron stuff. Farron stuff's way later. Farron stuff's this game. Mira stuff is a reference to the last game. And, eh. I mean, it's kind of nice looking, but... I don't know. It's way lighter, though. Oops. It's a fact I don't really care about, though. I don't plan to use the... I mean, unless the Flynn's Ring is going to make a difference with that weight. I don't know if I see the point. Which it won't, so forget it. Especially considering that the armor values are better, except for fire and lightning. And my fire defense is through the roof, so quite frankly, I don't care. I'm good for fire. Hey, Claranthering, that is definitely value. 
putting that on right now. Stamina regen is never a bad thing. Yeah, it's improved stamina regen. But that's never bad. That's always a good thing. I always love to have that. Although, actually, come to think of it, my... What I expect to use for my rings eventually does not include Cloranthi, but I might have to rethink that, because Cloranthi is just that good. It really is just that good. I'm not even exaggerating. Although I admit, I am reiterating quite a bit. Oh, hey. Ow. Really? Take an arrow to the back. Ow. Oh, yeah, right. You actually kind of think of it. They can attack up here. I think I can actually... I think I can roll back up here if I want to. Yes, I can! Oh yeah, this area is totally accessible. It's everything else that's not accessible. Namely the tower I just got off of. Right, okay. The only other thing around here, though, there's a couple spots in the... Seriously? No, I'm gonna parry you. Told ya! Well, it's a partial... Wait a sec! That... Oh, that is great! I mean, I still got hurt, yes, but the partial parry still counts as a parry enough for me to get the attacks in, even though I took damage. Wow, Sassus is awesome. It'll help when I get Aldrich's ruby and I can actually heal that damage. So yeah, if you just played Bloodborne and want to have a similar experience in Dark Souls 3, you're not going to have a gun, but you are going to have a boxing glove. This iron-studded boxing glove that'll end up working just as well. This is, to my knowledge, everything. I've completed the entire area. So we move on. I I sort of. Actually, doing so is rather challenging, since there's not really an easy way of moving on. Gotta be honest. I want to spend some stuff, and then I want to get back to the tower, and that's a bit of a pain. And then, of course, there's the Outrider Knight once I get back to the tower. Well, I will come back there when I get back there. And now we deal with the last thing in the Undead Settlement, before we get to the Road of Sacrifices. The Pontiff Knight. And since I lack confidence, I'm putting that elevator back up there. So yeah, this is not going to be quite a boss, but it's close enough. And at this point, I think we've actually ended off every single episode with beating a boss. Thus far. I don't believe this will be an exception. Unless we don't count this as a boss. In which case, it will be an exception! Okay, that's not too bad. Not bad at all, actually. Huh, this is working out remarkably well. Ah! Just need a way to heal up, but it should be fine. Ah, shoot. Seriously? Seriously? Well, it's right to be underconfident, at least. I mean, it's not a bad idea to have the elevators up whenever you make a big fight like that. You know, I could probably parry that thing now that I think about it. Part of me doesn't really want to try, but, you know, I probably could. Probably die in the process, though. That's the one thing I'm worried about. And I'd rather not do that. Alright, follow- Ow! Okay, well, forget even parrying. Apparently I just need to find a way to get into some space. Okay. Time is made available to heal. <sighs> For staircases, as always, bane of my existence. Or at least, the bane of yours. Whatever, it took a little longer than I wanted it to, but it's dead. That's what counts. We're at the road to sacrifices. I get to get the weapon that I really wanted to use this entire run that makes the run... Like, that makes the run. Doesn't make it anything particular, just makes it. Though it's a ways in. So, for now, I will leave you with that as we beat another area. Relatively rapid progression through this. So, thank you for watching and enjoy stuff.